two, one, record. All, All right. right. Let's talk about what we've got, how we built it, and why we built it that way. Okay. First and foremost, the selection of the materials that we used in this process was super critical to achieving Eric's goals of the weight uh, and the toughness and the strength that we needed. So in this boat, we use uh, three different materials. We use a Negra, we use carbon fiber in a woven, uh, and then we use a texturing material for super lightweight and stiffness. To give you an idea of the toughness of the boat itself, what you're gonna have is, if you do break the dadgum boat, you can break it, but you're never gonna get it to come apart. You, I mean, you, so don't worry about getting home if you have an accident, because it's gonna stay together. That said, this is what the boat is made of. So you can see how durable and tough and resistant that is for a very thin piece of carbon fiber. So in this boat, what we're doing is- hey, Real quick, what's TechStream? People have asked me about, so. TechStream is a product by Oxion. What is it? What's it, the deal with it? Uh, it? It's a spread toe material. In other words, on a, on a, a, a material like this, you see the weave. Yep. Each of those little weaves is a toe of material. Yep. The toes are spread so that they lay flat and then they're pulled straight. That allows us to have the absolute strongest material we possibly can with the least amount of damage to the fiber. And Being, how, how expensive is this stuff? This material is about three times the cost of this material. But the performance you get out of this in weight and in stiffness gains is exponential. So this may be less money, but it's heavy. Mm -hmm. This is this is more money, but it's light and super stiff for what it is. Got it, sweet. And that's in this boat. You don't see it here, how come? Well, let's take a look inside. Let's, let's remove that, the, this little hatch. Go ahead and check out inside. See the tech stream? Aha, uh -huh, so it's on the inside. It's on the inside, everywhere, on every single part of this boat, tech stream is there. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's giving us... So you're hiding points. the money. We're hiding the money. Hiding the money. <laughs> hiding the money. But what, you know, what's, what's fun is that, you know, this is such a thin laminate. Yep. Um, a lot of people don't believe that you can have that kind of toughness with, with a thin laminate. You can see clearly that this boat, I just slapped the devil out of it. There's nothing wrong with it. There, you didn't hear any cracking or crazing or anything. The next thing that we did, the, the, the first thing that we do with the boat is we start out with a clean tool. We clean our molds, we properly prep our tools. Uh, then we have a very, very unique specialty coating that at this point, Eric Jackson is the only gentleman in the world with boats allowed to use it. This material is so hard and so tough that once it's applied to it, it's very difficult to scratch. It's almost impossible to sand. We use it as an in mold coating. We put this into the tool before we actually do our layups, which gives us this super, super nice smooth finish with absolutely zero defect on the surface. The next thing that happens is that we come in and we do our layups. Now, each of these layups are very, very specific in the order that we do it and the way that we do it. We spend a tremendous amount of time with very accurate patterns that are cut to fit every, every part of this boat. From each bond line up is a very specific pattern. The reason we do that is that allows us to control the weight of the boat very consistently. By not having big overlaps or small overlaps, we keep consistency going throughout the boat. So each piece is specifically designed to give us the strength and the toughness we need for those areas. In the bottom of the boat, we use a core material. Um, it's a quarter inch core. It's a diap, uh, quarter inch H45 core. In these applications, because of the weight, we're not actually infusing the core in place, we're secondary uh, bonding them in secondarily in order to keep the weight down and get the stiffness back that you wanted. In other words, you mold the boat and then you gotta mold it again. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we tie the mold up for a couple of days on this particular issue, but it gives us the stiffness we need and it drives weight out of the boat. The next thing we do is we produce handles that are super, super lightweight allows you to bond them into place and, and pull and tug and tug and pull and you're never going to hurt the handles. Uh, Put your hand in there, Colton. Reinforcements are placed within this boat specific to uh, what EJ has shared with us, how the boat performs. 
he's on the water with these boats continuously. He's shown me hundreds of things that is, happens to the boat and, and it's been part of the evolution. And we've tried to rectify all of those issues. The Started. next thing was he wanted something to pull the boat around with and he didn't want a hook. So what we've done here is we've created a, a, a fixture where we can drill holes in the boat. Uh, we put a metal rod through there and we literally uh, turn and wrap the carbon up so that this hole is 100% monolithic with the hull and the deck uh, with no leak whatsoever. So you can literally, you can pick the boat up with this. You can drag the boat with it. Uh, you can stand up on it and hold it like a horse if you wanted to <laughs> from, the, from the back seat. So the next thing that we do Never thought about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so the next thing that we had to work out was all of the different uh, hardware and where it went and, and how to put it in place and do it repeatedly over and over and over. So we've, we've come up with the exact locations of the things that Eric has planned for the boat now and for some things he's not talking about plans for in the future. So there's certain things that are located within the design and in the boat as you receive it that's going to receive a lot of the cool accessories that you've got in mind for the boat so stay tuned for those awesome on the seats um kind of an interesting unique challenge uh rather than going with an off-the-shelf product uh, eric was pretty forward-thinking in what he did here uh, we've actually created a seat a pedestal a pivot uh, a, me a means of mounting uh, uh, Tackle boxes if you choose that option, but more importantly, he came up with a seat that is adjustable fore and aft, and it pivots. Very smooth, very clean pivot, allows you to get, uh, get in and get out of the boat. Do you remember how many, pivots I, how many pivots I said I've done in the last, um, in the last uh, two weeks? 12,000 full revolutions. 12,000 full revolutions of this seat. And that's in real life, that's fishing <laughs> out of that boat right there, 12,000 revolutions on the seat testing you know durability so some of the other things that like today we were able to work out some details to help minimize some of the the time it takes to put the boat together and minimize some of the cost in putting it together and most importantly weight so if you notice here on the tracks we went through several thoughts on what we wanted to do with these tracks and we came up with the uh, with the rivets with uh, washers behind the rivets with additional reinforcement carbon underneath and then <laughs> excuse me, while the deck was still off, we seal those and carbon and glass over those so they can't allow any water to penetrate through. So what we're going to do is we're going to, there's That's 64 important. of these rascals in there, mm -hmm. 64 rivets. So we decided that based on the performance we've got from the rivets now, we could take uh, every other one out, reduce that in half and cut the weight in half uh, further. So we're so going to see rivet and then empty space, rivets, empty space, rivets, empty space. Because, and why the empty spaces? Because it's not needed for strength, then we can save some weight. Absolutely, absolutely. Cool. Uh, we have isolated reinforcement uh, to protect your boat and your investment. Yeah, talk about a few of the places where, yeah, where there's local reinforcement that you wouldn't know. This isn't just one constant layup. There's, no. there's, a, there's places that have specific reinforcements. You want to like to show that that is. It. Yeah, we have a, we have a, a reinforcement that runs through this area of the boat right here. Um, it's essentially just an additional core that's in the front of the, of the part. Like a rib, it, basically. It's like a hoop that gives us that, that strength and stiffness we need to protect the boat okay. and keep it in shape. It's so Sweet. lightweight that without specific reinforcements in certain places, it could be... Like the difference tight. between this and this. Flex, no flex weight right at the same same sweet right at the same so in areas like the like the hand grip areas we have additional carbon fiber that's added into these areas here to reinforce this to give it that stiffness and strength you need to carry them around so don't be afraid to grab it tug and pull furthermore because of the weight of the boat and the thin laminates we use we have to control what the boat's doing under loads so we have specific isolated areas within the hull that disallow the boat from moving in any adverse direction. In other words, if you try to compress it, it can't spread. So we've got spread protection in the, in the parts, compression protection in the parts in different areas of the boat. So Tell them about the suspension system. Well, the suspension system is pretty unique in that 
in that it's preventing us from spreading here from a compression load and it has a slight spring load on the bottom of the core to the bottom of the hull so that it's it's taking up that that compression load as it, it goes over the in other wall. words when you have a 300 pound person standing here and sitting there it helps with that it helps transfer that load do you know of any other the, boat with a suspension system like that that's or? the first one i've ever put in all right so as far as you know you um and this is a russell Ennis invention right here that dude right there invented the suspension system for the apex watercraft here um i'm pretty proud of it i hope you're proud of it yeah too. yeah yeah we have a lot of other cool things coming uh we're going to continue to try to improve and upgrade as we go uh, we're going to try to optimize as many things and we're working very closely with manufacturers for higher quality materials lower lower cost of input uh, and we're, we're actually getting resources from other, uh, other material manufacturers to help us continue to do better and grow in the future. Sweet, good man. And then Colton, Colton's gonna be, we're gonna be getting the boats basically as you see them. Uh, they're not wrapped, they're not painted. Uh, they're just pure carbon in its purest black gold form. With the mold coatings. With, with the in mold coating of which, by the way, um, I'm going to be getting a Viper Red in mold coated. The whole boat's going to come super bright Viper Red. It's going to be super badass. <coughs> the seats, uh, the seats get hot when they're black. We're going to probably focus on, we can do in mold coating of those that are white, um, a gray, a blue, a red, or whatever. I'm very excited about that. So the in mold coating stuff that we're talking about here that Russ was just talking about, not being used anywhere in the composites industry abrasion resistance out the wazoo um, we're putting a little bit extra on the stern where we drag by the way this is my boat over here i've been i've been using this is what i got second lake wheeler there was 50 and no, i'm dragging it there was 50 portages in this and this is me portage in it. grab this is a paracord braided paracord grab handle and i'm dragging it around like this how come because it's got abrasion resistance under there. Now, can you eventually wear through? Of course you can. Um, so do you drag it on blacktop all the time? Try to avoid it any time you can. Drag it on grass, over logs, whatever, no problem. It's lightweight, it won't self-destruct. That's what this thing's designed for. Ooh, game on. Got all right. Your power pole placement? Your power pole or your, your controlling motor? And everything is properly placed, sealed off, ready to bolt on directly whether it's this or the trolling motor uh, or any other accessory. So nice. Yeah. yeah. Very exciting. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, tailgate prototype Colton's been working on. Yeah. And, but that's forthcoming. And this would bolt right into the place where the, uh, the power pole would go. This is for the trolling motor. Awesome. And we call that a Torquedo is the brand we're using. 11 OC. This thing will go, we're thinking it's gonna go eight miles an hour once we trim the shaft, but for sure we know it goes 7.4. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Okay. Well, I think that's a good walkthrough for what you're about to develop. Of course, the foot braces are ready to rock and roll. How much do they weigh? They weigh. Let's go look at how much they weigh. Here is a scale. Zero out the scale. Here's a foot brace. There's a scale, put the foot brace on. Is that 0.2 pounds? 0.2 pounds, that's right. It is so light. It is incredibly strong and stiff. It is carbon, unbelievable. Whew. All right, Apex Watercraft, that's the walkthrough before it gets dressed up, assembled, uh, the cork or foam decking, the wrap or paint job, the grab handle on the front, the toe handle made with paracord braided, uh, the, foam, the foam on the seat, potential, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Colton Breeding is in charge. Absolutely. Assembly and shipping. You excited for that? I'm really excited. We're gonna implement a lot of lean manufacturing methods and different things like that to get this running really efficiently and smooth and get boats out in the prettiest, fastest, and most efficient manner we can. Awesome. We're going to create lots of happy customers. That's what we're about to do. So Apex Watercraft signing off.